What we have here are the detected networks according to the wireless interface card. Uh, as you can see, there's no uh, specific information as to how much data is going on each network, just that there's uh, six networks there. So if you were to pick a channel for, you, for your own use, which one would you pick? You would probably say A, because that's only got one network there. And you're correct, but it doesn't really give a true indication of what might really be there. If we turn on the uh, spectrum analyzer in the background, what you can see now is the energy that's there. Now, A, of course, has a bigger, am higher amplitude, but not only that, let's just do a little uh, bit of a transfer on, on A. Now, that's that network A on channel 6, I'm now running some data through it. And even though there's only one network there, the duty cycle is a lot higher than the other networks. So if you were trying to use that network, that, that bandwidth space, you'd be struggling to compete against all the other data that's going through the air at the time. Uh, you cannot see this with layer 2 only. That's where you need your spectrum analyzer. And there could be other things there other than 802.11. In this case there isn't. But you wouldn't see that because a wireless uh, NIC can only see what it can demodulate, which is 802.11 data. So in this instance, I would say you want to use channel 11 because as you can see there's there's very little RF energy there. Uh, channel 1 has three SSIDs and it's starting to build up a bit but you definitely give A a miss. If this were a corporate environment there may only be one access point but there might be a lot of people using it so the, the use might be quite heavy even though there's one network there. So you really don't know until you look at layer 1 and layer 1 is the RF.